And good morning, Math Masters of Virtual Room 502. Welcome to Eureka Math in the Afternoon with Mr. Leggett and friends. What do we got going on today? Well, let's take a look. We have Lesson 18. It is our Problemo set. Grade 4, Module 5. If that doesn't help you out enough, get over to page 175. Today's date is 04 13 2021. Let's see what's going on today. It looks like more of what we were doing yesterday. It says show one way to solve each problem. Express sums and differences as a mixed number when possible. Use number bonds when it helps out. It helps you. Part A is partially completed for us. Isn't that nice for Eureka Math to partially complete it for us? All right. So we have two fifths plus three fifths plus one fifth. Well, we know we can add the two fifths and the three fifths together, right? You know that. We get five fifths. Then we get five fifths plus one fifth, right? And five fifth we know is one whole. So we would do one whole. Right there, plus one fifth would equal one and one fifth. Okay, let's give some other ones a try, shall we? All right, take a look at this one. What two would equal six? Okay, well, three six plus three six would be six six. So this could equal six six plus one six. What would that equal? Well, we know 6, 6 is 1, right? 1 whole. So it could be 1 plus 1, 6. And what does that equal? 1 and 1, 6. This is a really a much better way to do it than the way Mr. Leggett learned how to do it. All righty. What could equal 7 here? Well, I know 5 plus 2 is 7, right? So 5 sevenths plus 2 sevenths is 7 sevenths, that's what this equals, plus what? Well, we did the five sevenths, and we did the two sevenths, right? What are we left with? Seven sevenths. So we have seven sevenths plus seven sevenths. What in the world would that equal? Think about it. We know that seven sevenths is one whole, and seven sevenths is one whole. So it's simply one plus one equals what? Two. Didn't need to put that there. Getting the hang of this? Let's continue on. Okay, we're going to subtraction now. I have 7 eighths minus 3 eighths minus 1 eighths. Hmm. What could I do to figure this one out? Well, I don't really need to worry about this being an improper fraction, do I? Because I know it's going to be less than one because I'm starting out with seven eighths, which is a proper fraction, meaning it's less than one. So let's just do seven eighths minus three eighths. Seven minus three is four. So this would be four eighths. Boink, boink. Then we can take four eighths and subtract one eighth. What does that equal? Four minus one is three, and our total is simply three eighths. Okay. Now, back to the addition, where we're looking for some numbers maybe that would equal 10, or 9, excuse me. I don't see anything that would equal 9 here, right? Because we want to deal with 9 ninths. What do we do in this case? Mr. Leggett's going to show you what to do. All right. So let's add this up. 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12. So this is going to equal 12 ninths. All right. It's time for bond time. My name is Bond, number Bond. And I'm going to start off with 12 ninths. What do 12 ninths equal? Well, I know they equal 9 ninths. That's my number 1, right? My 1 whole. What's left over? 9, 10, 11, 12. 10, 11, 12. So that's 3 ninths. You can also just think about it as 12 minus 9 is 3 to 3 ninths. So 1 plus 3 ninths we're left with equals 1 and 3 ninths, okay? Let's keep going on to the next one. 
right here, I have nothing that's going to equal 10, right? I have an 11, a 5, and a 4. So I think I'm going to have to use a number bond again to figure this one out. Now, I know 4 plus 11 is 15, right? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus 5 would be 20. So I'm at 20 tenths, okay? Let's do a number bond and see what's going on. Okay, what's going to represent one whole? Well, 10 tenths. And then I'm going to put what's over here. 20 minus 10 is 10. And I'm left with 10 tenths. What's 10 tenths? 1 plus 1, right? 1 whole plus 1 whole equals 2. I'd like you to try the next three. Oh, no. Well, let's not do the next three on our own. <laughs> let's take a look at this one. Okay, how are we going to deal with this? I have one whole minus three twelfths minus four twelfths. I need to turn this one into a fraction. What fraction? Twelve twelfths. Now I can subtract because one is equivalent to twelve twelfths like we did yesterday. So I'm going to subtract three twelfths and then minus four twelfths. What will this equal? Well, let's think about it like this. Let's do the first one. 12 minus 3, 12, 11, 10, 9, 9. 12, 11, 10, 9 is 9 twelfths. Now I just need to subtract the 4 twelfths. What's that going to equal? 9 minus 4 is 5. It's 5 twelfths, okay? Let's go to H. We have 1 and 2 thirds. Goodness me, how am I going to deal with this? Well, if I took a look at this, I could say, okay, I have one and two thirds. Let's do a tape diagram. Here's my one, and remember, it's in thirds, right? So here's one whole. And please, when we do our copycats, when we have problem set, we are copycats. So this represents one whole. But it's not just one whole, it's one and two thirds. So I need to add two thirds onto this. Two thirds. So we have one and two thirds. What are we subtracting? Well, first of all, we're subtracting one third. And then we're subtracting another third. So what are we left with after we subtract these two? We're left with one. So one and two thirds minus one third minus one third equals one whole. How about that? We'll continue on. Um, yeah, we'll continue on. That's what I was going to say. Kind of thinking about tomorrow. We have 10 twelfths plus 5 twelfths plus 2 twelfths plus 7 twelfths. Can I add any of these together to get 12? Yeah, I could do 10 plus 2 is 12 twelfths, right? 10 twelfths plus 2 twelfths is 12 twelfths. And look what I have left. 7, 5 twelfths plus 7 twelfths. 5 plus 7 is 12, so I have another 12 twelfths. What does this equal? 1 whole plus one whole equals two. Dun, 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 dun. Let's turn this paper over. Let's see what else we got moving and grooving. In fact, we will, at this point in time, I think, because I've got second and third grade, we're going to save this for live with Mr. Leggett, okay? So that will be that for now. And then um, if you're done with the video, come back and join me and the third graders, or the third graders and me. See you there.